Today, Captain Dog is taking Danny and Pepper to visit the lifeboat. Ahoy there, young sailors! Ahoy there, Grumpy Rabbit! We were hoping you could tell us all about the lifeboat. Of course! Hop aboard! <laughs> Lifeboats rescue people when they get into trouble at sea. Ooh. You wouldn't believe the number of people who set sail without a moment's thought. Yes, all they had to do was follow a couple of simple rules. Before setting sail, check the weather. Nice and sunny is good for sailing. And always take a phone in case you need to call for help. Simple rules, but it's amazing how many people don't follow them. And then they have to be rescued by my lifeboat. How does the lifeboat rescue them? Good question, Pepper. First, we ring this bell. <coughs> then I pull this lever and uh, whoosh! The lifeboat shoots down this ramp, making a huge splash to the rescue! Wow! Can I pull the lever now? No, Daddy. The lever can only be pulled in a real rescue. The lifeboat won't be launched today. Oh. Thank you for showing us the lifeboat, Grabby Rabbit. You're most welcome. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye. <laughs> All that talk of sailing makes me wish I could set sail again. But, Dad, you're staying at home now. Oh, yes. That's right. I promise to never set sail ever, ever, ever again. Mmm, I fancy a bit of cheese. Grampy Rabbit likes cheese. Oh, there is no cheese in the fridge. No problem. I'll just get some more. This is Madam Cow's cheese shop. It is on a little rock out at sea. Hello. Hello there. Uh, do you by any chance have any cheese? Of course. This is a cheese shop. We have lots and lots of cheese. Goodbye. Good, they've got cheese. Oh, but what if they sell all the cheese before I get over there? I'd better hurry! Oh dear, Grumpy Rabbit has set sail without his phone. And he has set sail without checking the weather. Oh, the motor seems to be broken. Maybe I should have checked the weather. Grampy Rabbit is out at sea, all on his own. And I don't seem to have my phone. How can I call for help? I suppose I could try my voice. That's quite loud. Grampy Rabbit has the loudest voice in the world. It's Grampy Rabbit. He needs rescuing. Quick, back to the lifeboat. All aboard the lifeboat! Aye, aye, Captain Dog! Peppa, ring the bell! <laughs> Wait! I said I would never sail again! But Grumpy Rabbit needs rescuing! You're right! Daddy, pull the lever! This is brilliant! The lifeboat goes very fast! <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit! You saved me! Uh, would you mind if we carried on over to the cheese shop? Hello. Uh, one piece of cheese, please. Of course. What took you so long? Uh, I got into a bit of trouble on the sea. And we rescued Grumpy Rabbit. Yes, you did a fine job. Uh, and the good thing is that now you have seen exactly how the lifeboat works. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit loves the lifeboat. Everybody loves the lifeboat. Lucky Hamper. Pepper and her friends are at play. Children, who knows what this is? It's an empty basket thing. Correct. And it is called a hamper. What is it for? We are going to raise money for a good cause. Ooh. We fill the hamper with lovely things to eat. Can we put fruit in it? How about a pineapple? And a coconut. 
I like bananas. Wonderful! It will be a tropical hamper. Where do we get all this fruit? Good question, Susie. Please, can you all bring lots of fruit from home? Yes, yes Madame Gazelle. We will sell raffle tickets. Your mummies and daddies write their name on a ticket. And if they are lucky, they win the hamper. Wow! It is home time. Mummy, Mummy, we are making a lucky hamper. And you could buy a ticket to win it. That sounds nice. Don't forget to bring lots of tropical fruit, children. Daddy, Daddy, we need to find fruit. Hey, what? It's for our playgroup lucky hamper. Ah, how about this apple? No, Daddy, it has to be Troppy Poppy Curl. Yes, Madam Gazelle did shout something about tropical fruit. <coughs> We've got this coconut. Good. <coughs> and there's this tin of pineapple slices at the back of the cupboard. Will they do? Yes. Now you need to buy a ticket. <laughs> I see. And you put your name on the ticket. Daddy Pig. If your ticket is the lucky one, you win the hamper. Fantastic. Uh, Mummy, can you buy the rest of my tickets? <laughs> well, I suppose it is all for a good cause. It is the next day. All the children have brought tropical fruit for the lucky hamper. Bananas and a tin of pineapple. <coughs> I have a mango and four tins of pineapple. I've got a real pineapple. Wow! And a tin of pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful! Our hamper is full. Now we can decorate it with tropical things like palm trees, parrots, and fish. <laughs> Children are making decorations for the hamper. I'm making a palm tree. <coughs> Here is the trunk, and here are the leaves. <laughs> what a lovely palm tree. Let's stick it on the hamper. I am making a parrot. Wonderful. It will look good just here. I've made the sea. And I've made a tropical fish. Oh, perfect. I've made a pirate flag. Yo, ho, ho. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. The hamper is finished. Who will be the lucky person to win our hamper? <coughs> Hello. Oh, the parents have arrived. Thank you, everyone, for giving so much fruit for our lucky hamper. Wow. wow. Nice. It looks amazing. And thank you for buying all our raffle tickets. It is time to see who will win the hamper. Ooh. I have put all the tickets in this bucket. I shake them around so they are all mixed up. I close my eyes and pick up the winning ticket. Madame Gazelle, there's one ticket left. Oh, my goodness, I forgot to buy a ticket for myself. Madame Gazelle. I will just add my ticket to the rest. I close my eyes. Um, shouldn't the bucket get mixed again? And pick up the winning ticket. Madame Gazelle. Oh, that's me! Madame Gazelle has won the hamper. That was very lucky. Hooray! <laughs> Madame Gazelle loves lucky hampers. <laughs> Everyone loves lucky hampers. Jelly! Mummy Pig is working on her computer. Mummy, can me and George play on the computer? Sorry, Peppa. I've got a lot of important work to do today. Oh. You two can help me in the kitchen. OK. There's a cupboard in here that needs a jolly good tidy. Ooh. Could you pass me a pan, please? Here's a pan, Daddy. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Thank you, George. What is this funny thing? That is a special bowl for making jelly. Ooh, I like jelly. <coughs> can we make some jelly? Good idea, Peppa. Maybe it can be a surprise for Mummy Pig. Yes! First, we need to go to the shops and get everything we need to make jelly. <laughs> Goodbye, Mummy Pig. We're just popping out. OK, see you later. 
Daddy, Peppa and George have come to the supermarket. Daddy, what things do we need to make jelly? Well, we don't need flour or eggs or milk or butter. To make jelly, we just need, uh, jelly. It doesn't look very wibbly or wobbly. We add water to make it wibbly wobbly. Oh. What flavour do you want? Cheese. George <laughs> likes cheese. I don't think they have cheese jelly, George. Oh. There is strawberry, orange or lemon flavour. I like strawberry. Remember, the jelly is for Mummy Pig. What do you think she would like? Uh, strawberry. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Can you guess what we're making? Let me see. Are you making jelly? Yes. I love jelly, all wibbly wobbly and delicious. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> we're back home, Mummy Pig. Very good. Right, let's make jelly. <laughs> First, we open the packet and take out the jelly cubes. They are a bit wibbly and wobbly. We break the jelly cubes into a bowl and add some hot water. A grown-up must do this bit and stir. The water has gone strawberry colour. Yes, the jelly cubes have melted. Now we can pour it into the jelly mould. The fridge will make it go cold and wobbly. How long will it take? Not long. Let's set the timer. When the timer goes ping, the jelly will be ready. It's taking a long time. While we wait, let's make Mummy a card to go with the jelly. Yes! Pepper and George are drawing a jelly card <laughs> for Mummy Pig. Very good. What should we write inside? Um, dear Mummy. All this jelly is for you. Love from Peppa and George. Kiss, kiss. Um, please can you share your jelly with Peppa and George? <coughs> and can Daddy have some too? Lovely. The timer has gone ping. And the jelly is ready. We just turn the mould over on the plate and out pops the... Jelly! It's wibbly and it's wobbly. Blah, blah, blah. The end. Mummy Pig has finished her important work. <gasps> Mummy's coming. Surprise! Surprise! <gasps> How wonderful. We made jelly. Ooh, my favourite. And it's all for you. And some for me and George and Daddy. Wibbly wobbly jelly. Thank you. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig, Pepper and George like jelly. Everyone likes jelly. Potty training. Susie Sheep has come to play with Pepper and George. <laughs> Pepper and Susie are having a tea party. <laughs> Playing with Mr. Dinosaur. Dinosaur! Grrr. <laughs> George likes playing with Mr. Dinosaur. Oh. <sighs> What's that smell? <sighs> poo poo! Mummy! <laughs> George is done poo poo! Do you need the potty, George? Too late for the potty. <sighs> oh, yes. Let's get you cleaned up, George. That's better. Now, where were we? Tea. Oh, yes. Does Teddy want more tea? Of course. Teddy likes lots of tea. <laughs> <laughs> there we are, all clean and fresh again. <laughs> Mummy, why can't George go to the toilet like me? George is too little for the toilet, Peppa. He is potty training. Hmm. 
He is not very good at potty training. He will get better, Peppa. You were just the same once. What? <laughs> I never did potty training. Or me. <laughs> we all did potty training when we were little, Peppa. Even mummies and daddies. Really? Yes. <laughs> now I remember sitting on the potty like this. <laughs> so, George, next time, before you poo-poo or wee-wee, call the magic word potty. Potty! That's right, potty. If you do it right, you get to stay all clean and fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play giants! <laughs> Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the smell of a clean, fresh... George! <laughs> Quick, George! Hide from the giants! <laughs> I'm coming to get you, little piggy! <laughs> Excuse me, Madame Sheep. Have you seen a little piggy around here? <laughs> Does he smell clean and soapy fresh? Yes! <laughs> he went that way! Come back, you cheeky piggy! <laughs> I'm coming to get you! <laughs> wee wee! Mummy! Daddy! George wants his potty! Come on, George. Let's get you to your potty. George is on his potty. <laughs> well done, Pepper, for shouting out. George did a wee in his potty. But next time, George, you must do the shouting out. <laughs> Call the magic word potty. Potty. Oh, oh, the magic word is potty. So when you want to go, call out for your potty. The magic word is potty. 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 <laughs> potty. potty. <laughs> <laughs> Potty! Hooray! Hooray! Now George is almost grown up, like me! <laughs> <laughs> George loves potty training. Everybody loves potty training. Trampolines! Pepper and her friends have come to the trampoline park. I never bounced on a trampoline. I bounce lots. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> Welcome to the trampoline park. Miss Rabbit is in charge. When you bounce, you must bounce safely. Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. First, take your shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person on each trampoline at a time. Always bounce in the middle. And no clever tricks, just bouncing. It looks fun. Yes, really fun. I might even have a go myself. Happy trampolining, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> this is brilliant! Yes, but these mini trampolines are for little children. <laughs> these are the trampolines for big children like us. <laughs> now we can do really big bounces. Pepper and Rebecca are doing big bounces. <laughs> I love bouncing. <laughs> I am bouncing higher than the star. Me too. And me. <laughs> bounce, 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 bouncing up so high. Bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I think I'll have a go. <laughs> Are you sure that's a good idea, Daddy Pig? I know what I'm doing. 
<laughs> I want to go too. <laughs> and me. Some grown ups are yeah. bouncing on the trampolines. Bounce, 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 bouncing up so high. Bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. Mummy Pig is bouncing really high. Bouncing up so high. Not too high, Mummy Pig. Bouncing in the sky. Oh. Woo! 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 Mummy Pig has landed on top of a tree. Oh, how do I get down? Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll rescue you. Uh, we'll call Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Hello, Trampoline Park. Oh, the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Mummy Pig is stuck in a tree. Help! I'll be right there. Miss Rabbit to the rescue. My goodness, this is embarrassing. Yes. It's the sort of thing that normally happens to me. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll have you down in no time. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hmm. I can't land on the tree. I know. I've got a really good idea. Oh, where's she going? Yay! She's bouncing back into the sky. Here I come. Is unbelievable! Yes, it is one of my more amazing rescues. What happens next? Who knows? <laughs> that was lucky. I forgot the helicopter was here. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you for rescuing me, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Next time, don't bounce quite so high. Yes, Mummy. If you bounce on trampolines, you must. Thank you, Peppa. I'll remember that in future. <laughs> Peppa loves trampolines. Everyone loves trampolines. Health check. Today, Peppa is going to the doctors for a health check. Are we all ready? Yes, I've got Teddy. And I've got the red book. What's the red book? It's your very own book, Peppa. It helps the doctors see how you are growing up. Ooh! Peppa has arrived at the doctor's. Here is Dr Brown Bear. Hello, Peppa. Have you come for your health check? Yes, I have. And did you bring your red book with you? Yes, I did. <coughs> and I brought Teddy too. Very good. You're seeing Dr Polar Bear today. Ah, that means she's ready to see you. This is Dr Polar Bear. Hello. Who do we have here? I'm Peppa Pig. And who is this? Teddy. Has Teddy come to see what happens at a health check? Yes. Lovely. And did you bring your red book? Here it is. Excellent. Let's start by seeing how tall you are. Come and stand by the wall here, please, Peppa. <laughs> That's it. I'm a big girl now. Yes, you are. Dr Polar Bear writes how tall Pepper is in the red book. Now, hop onto these scales for me, please. Scales show how heavy you are. That's good. Now, I will listen to your heart with my stethoscope. A stethoscope makes your heart sound louder. Dr Polar Bear can hear Pepper's heart beating. Would you like to listen? Yes, please. <laughs> it's going bumpy dump, bumpy dump, bumpy dump. <laughs> and now Teddy. Is Teddy's heart going bumpy dump, bumpy dump? No, Teddy's heart doesn't do that because Teddy is a doll. Oh, I see. Now I'll check your ears with my special torch. <laughs> it tickles. That's all lovely. Now I'll check your mouth. Say... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, Wonderful! 
Careful. Do you want to check my nose? <coughs> Thank you, Pepper. I can see that your nose is working very well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see you jump up and down. <laughs> I love jumping up and down. And flap your arms. Okay. <laughs> Super. Now, do you like eating fruit and vegetables? Yes, I do. What are your favourite fruit and vegetables? I like apples and oranges and bananas. Good. And do you like broccoli? Mm, I like broccoli a little bit. OK. But I love spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti isn't a vegetable, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> I love spaghetti too. <laughs> is Peppa up to date with her vaccinations? Yes, she is. A vaccination stops you getting ill. Very good. Well done, Pepper. That's the end of your health check. Would you like a sticker? Yes, please. Mummy Pig, are there any questions that you want to ask me? Oh, I can't think of any. I have some questions. OK. How big and heavy are you? <laughs> I am just the right size for a polar bear. And do you like eating broccoli? I like broccoli a little bit. Good. You can have a sticker too. Thank you, Peppa. Teddy eats lots of broccoli. Well, Teddy must have a sticker then. And Mummy can have a sticker because she eats broccoli too. Oh, thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your red book back, all up to date. Thank you, Dr Polar Bear. Did you enjoy coming today, Peppa? Yes, it was really fun. <laughs> Peppa loves having a health check. Everyone loves having a health check. Skateboarding. Today, Peppa, George, Mummy and Daddy Pig are at the park. Peppa has her scooter. George has his tricycle. <laughs> Mummy Pig has her bicycle. Daddy Pig has his skateboard. Daddy, can I have a go on your skateboard? Skateboarding is quite difficult, even for a grown-up like me. Yes, you don't have anything to hold on to. Please, can I have a go? Well, maybe Daddy could give you a lesson. Yes, I think you're just old enough to learn. Yippee! It's best to start off slowly, like this. Daddy Pig is good at skateboarding. Now it's your turn, Peppa. Yay! Put one foot on the board and push with the other. <laughs> well done, Peppa. And now try it with both feet on the board. Look at me! Whoa! Well done! <laughs> It is Belinda Bear and Simon Squirrel. They are big children. Hey, Peppa! Yo! Hello! Is that your skateboard? It's my daddy's. Can you skate on it? Yes! My daddy taught me. He's the best skateboarder in the world. Well, I suppose I am a bit of an expert at it. Really? So, what do you make of these ramps? <laughs> <laughs> wow! Amazing! Simon and Belinda are very good at skateboarding. Peppa, would you like to try? Yes, but I can't skate like you. Hmm, but only because we're older than you. Yes, we're almost grown-ups. I'm nearly ten. Wow! Maybe you big children could give Peppa a lesson. Yes, please! OK, we'll teach you. As long as you keep it slow and safe. Of course, we'll keep it real cool. Let's go down this little ramp. I'm here to catch you, Pepper. OK, Daddy. I'm here to catch you too. <laughs> George is helping as well. <laughs> now, Pepper, put both feet on the board. Yes, I've done that before. And we'll give you a little push. Um, it looks high. I'll take you a bit lower. Ready now? It's still quite high. How about here? Okay. 
I did it! I did it! Well done, Pepper. Yes, you did brilliantly. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. Watch this. <laughs> Oof! Are you all right? Yes, I think so. She's fine. When you're learning to skateboard, there's lots of falling off. Yes, that's why helmets are ace. Wow, that's so good. Can you do that, Daddy? Um, I expect I could if I wanted to. Please show us, Mr Pig. Oh, all right. Um, Daddy Pig, are you sure this is a good idea? Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Right, have you ever been on a ramp before? Not as such. Wow, he's gone to the highest ramp. Oh, I realised quite how high this was. <laughs> Maybe I'll... <laughs> wow, look at him go. My goodness! That was awesome! Unbelievable! My daddy is the best at skateboarding because he is very old. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> daddy Pig loves skateboarding. Everyone loves skateboarding. 